again, what we need in America is a faithful leader like Ted Cruz. And what you saw today at uh, at the at, at, uh, uh, at, at the at the um, the police memorial, Dallas Police Department memorial service today, what you saw from George W. Bush was a genuine leader who is have a great heart towards towards life, towards respecting other people, towards the family of the fallen officers who gave their life to to serve and protect our communities. This is what they did. These officers, two of them, one was a Gulf War veteran, one was a Rocky Freedom veteran. These officers, before becoming officers, they actually were in a desert storm. Uh, one of them was in the uh, Rocky Freedom and then a desert storm. So, you know, th think about this. Think about what kind of officers are these, uh, are, are these real officers? Are these veterans? Are these officers served and protect this country? And now they're serving and protecting our community. Ask yourself, think an officer for serving and protecting our community. Thank them. Because some of them are veterans. Some have served in the military. So when you think an officer, think of a think of a, 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 as a, a, a as a military personnel. Because that's what they are. They're protecting and serving as a community. It's like a firefighter, just like a paramedic. Yeah. You know, oh, one one thing about uh, I want to tell you something. One of one of the most uh, um, powerful funerals that for a firefighter I've been to that I that I've actually um, got to participate in for this network by the way. It's, uh, this is in 2011. It was Glenn? Uh, uh, his name was Glenn. Um, was it, uh, when, uh, no, it was, uh, I'm not sure it was Glenn Miller or anyway, um, uh, it was uh, it was firefighter Glenn. He was a paramedic for twenty for twenty years. He became a firefighter for thirty, and he went. He was called to a far of uh, um, a, uh, a, a, a um a four alarm fire into a um into a burning building. In the apartment complex, he saved four people, but he couldn't save himself. Though that's what a true hero is. Yeah. The true hero gave him gave his life to rescue others, and that's what Mr. Glenn did. And you know they they should make a movie based on this, and I wish they would. I really wish they would. They should because it it, portray, it portrays. A true story of what of, of what um, uh, what heroism is. It really does. Yeah, uh, those kind of stories, the media doesn't like to touch. It, for some reason, if it's a human interest story, they won't touch it. Well, actually, you could think our friends with KTLA actually did this. It went against the producer, and actually um, had the um, the funeral service. Live on live on the air, and actually, we we, we put it on, on on live streaming too as well. It was, and we had had over millions millions of hits of this. It was unbelievable, and, um, and fortunately, uh, with social media and Facebook, they had to take it down. They had to block it. But however, they posted up an ISIS video, um, and they didn't they didn't take that one down and it shows the beheading of Christians and it shows a be and it shows a um a uh an officer still being be, being uh being gashed out. But uh face for Facebook and Twitter it's okay for them to do that, but it's not okay for a funeral. So I just want to point that out to the people who are just tuning in for the first time on Facebook or Twitter today. You know, think about that. Think about when you're on social media. Think about. Think about. You think about. You know, think about respecting others. 
Seriously, because we're not seeing that right now at all. We're not, I mean, we're just getting, we're, what we're seeing, we're seeing cyber blame being done right now on, on social media. You know this. I mean, you got, I mean, you, you yourself were attacked on Twitter. That's pretty ridiculous. I'm sure when we pose the same thing too about the full officer, I'm sure we got, I'm sure we got attacked on Twitter, but we, uh, I, all I did was just post it out there. Uh, and just and, and and close my account down since I did. I knew I was going to get attacked. I didn't want to get. I didn't want to engage in these wackos. But, however, um, let them let, let them rot, let them rot and and rave. And yeah. you know, okay. this I, 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 no, I left it alone on Twitter, but I didn't leave it alone on Facebook. I over 900 comments last night on Facebook. I don't know how many people we got on Twitter. I didn't, I didn't care about that. I didn't care. Wow. I didn't care. Yeah, we had one of our own firefighters uh, mm -hmm. downstate in my in my state mm -hmm. uh, fall from a helicopter. Yeah. And um, he did not make it. He, he, you wow. Know, he, so anytime we lose a police officer, a firefighter. Right. You know, Anybody that, that's out there assisting the public, they're putting their lives on the line. Every single day. And, and these people today do not appreciate them and all that they do. No, it, they it, don't. It, 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 it's sad. It really is. Yeah. Yeah, it, uh, yeah, it is sad. You know, it really is. You, you know, you should be respectful because, like I said, I'm gonna meet an op I got to meet an I got to meet a really cool officer this past week in my area. I was just a uh, um, Coast Guard. He actually was Alaska. You know, he actually jumped out of air. You know, uh, um, Coast Guard rescue. I mean, a diver is what he was. Coast Guard rescue diver from Alaska. In the Bering Sea, no less. Wow. And he now is an officer from my from my hometown. That's really neat to see that. Yes, it is. It's really neat to see that, you know. I mean, I got to meet another. I got to meet uh, an officer who was working in Seattle. Uh, I got to meet another officer. Uh, he's actually was a um, uh, was a uh, worked on uh, um, fire lines uh, down in Arizona before he became a Roman police officer. He worked in the fire lines. And I got to meet another officer who actually worked in uh, um, in Long Beach with all the drugs and rape and everything else. You know, he said he had. He, there was one day you actually was called out 20, 20 different times on twenty different cases in one day, and that was wow. norm, that was normal during a week during 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 a, during his uh, um, two years two years doing that you know and be once a week be called out twenty times in one day. Hmm. That happened. What well, happened once a week twenty times on one day? Wow! Once a week it would be called out. So it gives you an idea of what's going on. I mean, in that perspective, I mean, that's the thing that the news media has refused to actually mention about. It's the one thing that we do here on this program. You know, I, you know, like I said, I have actually done a ride along with officers, by the way. I actually took a ride along three different times, by the way. You've been taken off how many times? A ride, ride along, ride along, three different times. You know, go around. Wow. You know, going around the neighborhood with the officer. Yeah, that's actually fun. That is fun. That is fun. That I worked for, I it. because I worked it for King County. You know, I got to do that. I had I had to do that for uh, from for um for my job, my job training, also for um uh, uh, understanding the the parks department, understanding a little bit of law enforcement, and. I also be 